<sighs> That's one section down. Now the next section. Disability. They finally mentioned disability. And again, it's in like a, the chapter that's on um, strengthening democracy. So you only talk about like a, a lot of marginalized like uh, people when it's about strengthening democracy, protecting freedoms, and advancing equity. So I was going to assume it was like they're only going to talk about like uh, racial equality uh, and like and queer folks when it is about like if hey we want you to vote for us. Uh, also, it always feels weird to me to refer to people just by their skin color, especially when how they capitalize black and they do not like capitalize brown. <laughs> Yeah, that is, that is interesting to point out. Uh, let's see. I, I tend to have a bad habit of, like, capitalizing letters in, like, uh, the first letter of a word when it's, like, it doesn't need to as well, too. Uh, like, when I was, like, advertising for um, Social Justice Alchemy, too. No, Social Justice and uh, the SJA for Social Justice Alchemy should be capitalized because it is a proper noun. It's the name of something as well, too. But, like, I did that also for Dead Be Dads. Capitalize the D and B and the D. Uh, for death be dads, as is a proper noun. Death be dads, like an organ, it's that organization, something like that. But no, I'm talking about a phenomenon as well too. Um, so that's why I have to remember. No, no lowercase those ones as well too. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of weird how like black gets cap, the being black gets capitalized, but being being brown does not get capitalized. That is interesting. Mm. About like either don't capitalize both of them or do capitalize both of them. It's weird. Anyway, disability. People with disability have long strengthened our economy and expanded our nation's possibilities. I didn't even realize the same people have that power. This sounds like more inspiration porn, which, yes. Honestly, when like a, like a lot of liberals uh, like, talk about like, disabled people too, it's a lot of inspirational porn bullshit. Again, disabled people just want to be able to like live and something like that, which is actually I'm reading, listening to like old like Democracy Now episodes, and like two years ago there was like a a person with cerebral. Hey, wait, what power do we have? I I know this video. Let's continue reading. Actually, I'll I'll finish this. No mention this point uh, later on. Anyway, continue on. And groundbreaking legislation like the Americans with Disability Act and the Rehabilitation Act has been like significant strides towards equality for people with disabilities. Okay. Some people don't mind the people first uh, phrasing of like person with disability. Whereas, but many of my friends that I know, they say, no, listen, I'm not a person with disability as in, oh, I'm a person, but I have this disability. No, they're saying I'm a disabled person where they put the disabled, the identity first over a person as well too. It's just like, do not separate my disability from who I am. I, that's my disability is a part of who I am. So, it, do not it, alter the fact that their disability in the way too. Where it's just like, oh, you're a broken person because you have disability, but we'll try to make you whole. It's like, no, make accommodations so that a disabled person can like thrive. Do not try to fix the disabled person. Now, granted, like, yes, and like, with chronic pain, or chronic pain and other things, they would love it if they don't have, like, a, a chronic pain. I think they would love it if they, they can, like, do things like play video games as well, or even as simple as that as play video games. But it, there are times they don't, and they can't, and or they can't do other things, too. So they, they should have accommodations. It's not special needs. No, everyone has needs. But, like, some people's needs are, like, more specific uh, than others. Or some people just have more needs than others. And that's fine. That's, yeah, that's why it's about equity, not equality. It's not about treating everyone equal. but about giving everyone the equal share of whatever resources will do. No is about equity so that everyone can thrive and give uh, more resources to the person that needs more resources. That's why communism from each, from each, according to their ability. If they can do a lot, great. If they can't do a lot, that's fine too. And to each, according to need. Some don't need as much. Others need a lot. So those who need more, gets more. Those who need less, 
He gets less. That's and like that. It, it, some people will scream, but that's not equal. It's like no, that's that's, that's the problem. I did argue with someone that I didn't do, that like thought that like he was he was uh, metaphorically treated unfairly because like transgender people get more procedures than he does. Well, that's because like trans pe people need more health care. Or in specific health care that uh, him as a cis person doesn't, but yet he he felt it was it was unfair because someone gets more than him, he doesn't get that like he doesn't need it. And oh no no no, I was sitting right next to him at the bar, and I was not letting up on that. Honestly, I think he's a little bigoted. Honestly, he did say the T word uh, in my presence before. The fact that I had been diagnosed with autism as a child, I would have been determined as either gifted or special needs with no input on my own. Um, in the nineties, feels weird. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, gifted is up there too, as well too. Uh, that sort of thing too. Where can we just like treat kids as just kids? I don't put them up on a, on a pedestal because they're gifted. Because that fucks up with kids and when they're just like a gifted uh, child as well, too. And again, I'll also say about the uh, Americans with Disability Act, it's terrible. I mean, yes, I mean, it was a great landmark like legislation as well, too. But that's because there was no other legislation like it before. There was nothing to, like, uh, give disabled people anything before that as well, too. Again, with, like, LGBTQI plus rights and other things like that, and uh, racial equality and so like that, or racial equity. Yes, it is, if you do something more to, like, benefit those people, too, you are being very progressive as well, too. But that's because you're starting from a very low point at the bottom. And this sort of the and Americans with Disability Act was a great piece of legislation as well too, because there was nothing like it before. But that shows how terribly ableist the entire country and entire society was before. But even with like the Americans with Disability Act being in law, there is no enforcement mechanism for it, and churches are exempt too. So churches don't have to like provide wheel their chair ramps or any other kind of ramps for people with mobility aids or mobility needs. I heard some stuff, stuff like uh, a kid's special interest turns out to be, say, numbers or something. The absolute pressure and expectation placed on them because of that. Yes! Oh, this uh, child is gifted. And then they're put in advanced math classes and struggle. And is that what the child wants? Or is that what the parents want? There's another distinction. Because sometimes the parents don't see, like, their children as their own person that they should do their best to provide for them and a guide or, like, provide an example of how they can, like, be in society as well, too. No, some people, some parents just, like, see the child as, like, extension of themselves. And by seeing the child as extension of themselves, they inadvertently do not see the child as like their own persons which is like i think is a bad way to frame me that um so yes it, it, it yes these the two acts were like great strides for like a quality and equal opportunity for people who are disabled peoples let's not put peoples first for the same peoples, but more work to be done. Yeah, because, like, they started for nothing with these two acts was given in place, and there's a lot more that needs to be done. Exactly. Anyway. Uh, disabled people, if they, if, if this document is going to, like, have a lot of, like, people's disabilities, I'm changing that to disabled people. I'm just going to change that to disabled people, as I said. I'm not going to read people's disabilities. I'm saying disabled people. I don't care what, how this document puts it. I know uh, some... Some people with disabilities prefer the people first language, but most of my friends that I talk to about the and of disabled people I talk about that they prefer the disabled for, their first they prefer the identity first uh, uh reference. Anyway, disabled people are uh, three times as likely, uh, uh, three times less likely to have a job, and when they do, they are often paid less money for doing the same work. No, yeah, that's a piece of shit. That's like a shit like a thing where it's just like you can pay disabled people less. And that's terrible. Uh, I don't think like I don't think people in general, let alone disabled people, shouldn't like have to have a job in order to like live. 
No, disabled people or any person wants to have a job or wants to work. So then, oh no, no, yeah, but they they should be provided that in the way if possible, or like you know, give them something to do, or help them try to find like the kind of work that they want to do as well too. Oh, but that's the thing is like I think work should be uh if someone chooses to do as well too. And I know that someone that's going to say, oh, it is a choice to do. You can choose to work. All right, but like if you don't, um, if you choose not to work for whatever reason, you'd be out on the streets. And do you think that's fair? Uh, if they want a job, great. Perhaps help them get a job and something they're interested in. Yeah, exactly. This idea. Provide them resources so that they can actually do the job that they want to do and like excel at the job that they want to do and thrive. Um, if they choose to do it, but people should not force to work because they need to in order to pay rent. <sighs> but we're long from that kind of society as well, too. Because if you just give people stuff, they are going to take advantage of it and just like sit around and ask to play video games the whole day. And I'm like, and? And if people can't understand me for like having that position, fine. They won't understand me. Uh, continue on. Democrats are taking action to fix that. President Biden signed an executive order establishing a government-wide commitment to advancing equality and equity in federal government in federal employment, including people with disabilities, including disabled people. Um, the Labor Department is protecting workers, uh, protecting disabled workers, and fighting to an end unjust employment practices. The administration is helping in state and local governments and businesses and nonprofits access uh, federal funds to hire more disabled Americans. Okay, the first time they actually like uh, put disabled people first. The identity first, and the disabled Americans. It's interesting. Um, continue on. And President, and President Biden is making sure his administration looks in Americans like appointing people, appointing disabled people to positions all across our government. Because honestly, if, uh, well, it, the thing is, like, if a disabled person is seeking to do that job, yeah, they should have like the opportunity to like take that job as well too. Um, and I'm not even like a, a cap. Make that caveat of like. If they're able to do it, if they think they can do that job, yeah, allow the opportunity to do that job. Uh, continue on. He is making the federal government a model employer, or when it comes to like, wages, accommodations, and opportunities to advance in disabled people. Uh, and he is uh, helping young disabled people transition from education to employment through the, the Disability Initiative Fund. <sighs> I don't know if uh, any other good place to mention this, but like, um, yeah, I'm mentioning how like this all feels like um, inspiration porn as well, too. And a couple of passages of it feels like inspiration porn. Uh, I love when, uh, uh, Literano, when uh, my friend who's like, when people told her, hey, there was like a armless person that like swam across the like, English Channel to France. And she goes, okay, good for her. That's it's impressive. What about it? The implication that they, well, those people don't know is they will see this uh, Letterano who has a cane, or uh, sometimes maybe has a mobility aid or something kind, um, and they will be like, "Oh, you're disabled," but you know what? Some disabled people can like do, and yeah, exactly. That's all it is, and so that's why her reaction is like, "Okay, good for her. She wants to swing the English Channel." It's like, yeah. I want to just play video games. The it, 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 people should just do whatever they want. They are not there to be inspiration for able-bodied people, which is the point. And same thing with queer people. We're not here to be inspiration for like cis people because we are brave. No, we want to be like true to ourselves. It's society that like it makes us sometimes feel shitty for being true to ourselves, or like prevent us from being true to ourselves, or shame us for that. Then again, that's why pride. We are. There's why there's no such fucking thing as like white pride or straight pride or cis pride as well too, because you're not ashamed of being being white or being uh straight or being um uh cis. Yeah, exactly. You're trans. Oh my god, you're so brave. Um, sure. It's... Are you brave for being cis? Ah. 
And, and, I mean, it's just like if disabled people want to go into employment after like a finishing education, yeah, that's an issue. But like disabled people should also just like, you know, want to relax or like spend time with their family if they want to as well, too. But we're often like have to like uh, force to work and uh, everyone is often have to force to work in order to like live. Blah. Anyway, continue on. President Biden is also working to improve health care for like. For disabled people, the administration has released a rule barring the providers from denying medical treatment related to organ donation or life saving care for disabled Americans based on their disability alone. Yeah, it's uh, if one person is like, yeah, I think it's kind of they. Yeah, I love the sex thought where the person goes out and asks a bunch of the people, probably old friends, if they support straight marriage and like shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you support straight marriage? Do you support uh, cis affirming gender care? <sighs> if someone will ask me that, like, cis affirming gender, it, 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 it's like. If someone asked me if I, I approve of like a support cis affirming gender care, it's just like, I'll be like, what the hell do you mean by that? That was a, is it's insistent from gender care that's already there. We already get like plenty of that as well too. Anyway, continue on. Uh, President uh, Biden is also like working to improve. Uh, do, you... <laughs> do you support straight marriage? I'm sure not around my kids though. <laughs> uh, continue on. Uh, President Biden is also working to improve like uh, healthcare with uh, for disabled people. Um, just uh, improve healthcare for everyone, um, and that should also improve like healthcare for disabled people. Uh, again, disabled people probably it, it's, it's just like some people have more needs than others. Um, not special needs, just more needs, just needs. Um, the so continue on. The administration is uh, uh released a uh, a rule barring. Oh wait, did I? Okay, no, no. Yeah, I did write this part. Uh, like, so no, I'll read it again. Uh, the administration released a rule barring providers from denying uh, medical treatments related to organ donations or life saving care for disabled Americans based on disability alone. It launched a long uh, COVID uh, clinic trials and created the offices of long COVID research and practice. National Health Institute, uh, the National Institute of Health, uh, designated uh, disabled people a uh, health a health dispersion population okay i'm trying to process this what this means i'm trying to process what it's like so there's health disparity population they're receiving less health care or less health care than they need is that the word trying to apply? Anyway, uh, continue on. Unlock, unlock new resources for research. They're going to research disabled people? I, I, I'm, I'm finding this weird. Anyway, continue on. Um, oh, God. That reminds me of, like, horrific things that, like, uh, contact Wretch, like, lived through. Honestly, being born disabled. Uh, she told me talk about that on, like, uh, Fast Host Just the Alchemy. Oh, uh, the... It was mostly to like it was last year in July uh, for disability pride. Pride, so it's like go back about like fifty year or so episodes uh, to find it, and uh, we. Uh, and my intention to have contacts Rich on. It's like I wanted to have contact Rich on for a while because she always was like hanging out in chat and like and saying things and providing us links and that sort of thing and being cool like that. So I wanted to like have her on to like talk about it, but I wanted to talk about like disability pride and more specifically, but like end up have the show we were talking about. Uh, she was just uh, sharing the story. I know research stuff into needs to be done is how we can like move forward to like better help and support people that would like they. It would need business things and such, but God, it feels weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's, so that's the thing too. I, I was just like, I was. It's, uh, it's like I, I'm not against research. Period. Honestly, but it's just like, well, I guess it depends on the specific research you're doing as well too. Oh, it's, as long as you're not harming others in the research, or you get consent to like do the research that sort of thing too from people that can can give consent. Then like, yeah, go ahead. Uh, but like, it's, it does feel weird that like. The disabled people are like test subjects. Ugh. 
Um, it is important to like we research long COVID because there's so much we do not know about long COVID, and we're learning more and more about long COVID as it is like um, a thing uh, as well too. And maybe there's like some improvements and people you can like you can have long COVID, but you can get better from having long COVID apparently. As I do have a friend that does have long COVID because they, yeah, they did get like COVID and they have like lingering effects from COVID. That's long COVID is known as. Um, and it's like if, if the same way how COVID affected people differently, long COVID is affecting like people differently too because there's, there's so much we don't know about it. It's such a relatively new thing. But anyway, continuing on. Uh, President Biden also said an expected order increasing access to quality care and supporting key caregivers as well as like historical legislation that expanded home and community based like services under Medicaid. I think just like expanding Medicaid and like making Medicaid as well as Medicare just very robust so like anything that like someone needs can be paid for by either Medicare or Medicaid or both. Or and having that access to health care and provide to everyone as well too. Um, so uh, if, if they are doing that, great. I, please do that more robustly so that, like, people, it, it, like, th there was, like, it, apparently there was an asset limit for, like, Medicaid. If you're on Medicaid, you're not supposed to have, like, as, this much money in the bank account. Uh, that, unfortunately, was kind of, like, a sucky for, like, a friend of mine who had their, is their AC broke. And he's disabled, too, as well. And, like, uh, and his, his mom is a bedridden disabled. And... Uh, they got the AC fixed, but then because of like a period of time where the AC was not working, uh, they were sort of like an infant. That's exactly how it works in, in Canada with disability. Oh, good, yeah. Um, but like it is, but because of, like they had their AC broke the, for a long period of time before it got fixed, is that like there was black mold that was forming. So it it's be very expensive. They had to do deep work in order to remove the black mold. Um, and they reached out to me and asked me, is, um, is, uh, having a GoFundMe account towards, like, as long as I'm on disability, I can't have too much money in bank account because that would be sad somehow. Oh, fuck. That's, uh, so, in this society, we cap the income of disabled people, but not billionaires. That shows you the priorities of this country, of this society, I should say. Hey, I would say this country, but not like it's happened only in the USA. It's like Lucidity points out. It happens in Canada, too. Just, that's terrible. This society we live, live in, everyone. Alright. Um, but no, you sh there should not be asset limits and whatsoever as well, too. Because, like... It, that would prevent uh, people from uh, having a GoFundMe to try to raise for something that they need. Like, removing black mold can be very expensive. Uh, thankfully, my comrade, my friend, did raise, the, he got the $1,500 that they needed to raise for the GoFundMe. I was very happy that I'd see that happen. So hopefully they, 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 the the black mold situation gets cleared out as well, too. Because it's affecting like uh, both his health and his mom's health as well, too. Um... So yeah, anyway, continue on. Um, uh, accessible public spaces are essential to ensuring an equal opportunity for people with, for disabled people. Uh, it's just also okay. We we should bring this up. Accessibility helps a lot of people, not just disabled people. Think about like this. Think about like um, uh, you're at a sidewalk and uh, there's crosswalks or intersections. Like the slopes in those crosswalks. Yes, that's specifically. It has nothing to do with anything, but the, as re, uh, remind me of the thing. Oh, all right, go ahead, most idea. As I'll explain this, uh, how accessibility options help everyone, or not just disabled people. The slopes of the crosswalks. Yes, that's for people with mobility eyes and wheelchairs in order to actually go across the crosswalk with ease. But it helps like people with strollers, or like skateboarders. The accessibility options helps other people as well too. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, like in Fortnite as well too. There's a setting called Visual Sounds, where it's just like it's supposed to be there for accessibility feature for people who are deaf. And I, I actually do know someone who is deaf and plays Fortnite and loves playing Fortnite as well too. And yeah, absolutely uses the visual sound options. It's a great like uh, option as well too. There are times where it's like there's no visual audio though for like that person that lands on you as well too, and that's frustrating as well too. But even though it's an accessibility options for people that are hard of hearing or deaf. Uh, everyone uses it because it's OP. 
Hey, but that's just one example. Um, uh, okay, the city says the theory, and uh, th uh, that's a th uh, that's there's a theory, I guess, uh, because someone like I noticed it, it and asked uh, a general question, and just like morphed into a theory from that, that the reason Rollins is a radical terrorist is because of black mold in her house. Ooh, even though that's not what black mold does. Yeah, yeah. I can see how people would crib or come up with a theory for that as well too, because. Uh, I'm sure you've seen, you've seen this uh, this video. People cannot. Some people cannot fathom that someone be bigoted, and so if someone is being a bigot, it. Oh no no! This person is not like the terrible asshole or a bigoted person or racist person. This person must have a mental illness, which a demonizes men, people with mental illness. Because you're saying, like, you're attributing their bigotry, whatever it is, a bigotry, a racism, or, like, a transphobia, something like that, with them being, like, not right in the head. And that's where, in trying to pathologize bigotry is in that way, it is ableist as well, too, because, again, you're demonizing people with mental illnesses in that case. But also, it's like, you're... you're you're denying that it is possible for someone of the reasonable mind, rational mind, to be a bigoted piece of shit. You're trying to excuse their bigotry as like a defect that they have. Cannot comprehend, uh, uh, cannot comprehend bigotry at all. Like, yeah, yeah, it's just like, I don't understand. Uh, yeah, but like, it's. I think, like, I agree with Linequin that my people are taught to be bigoted. Somehow, some way, in some form, they are, their environment, their influences, what influence them, influence them to be bigoted, to authorize other people as well, too, based on either race, skin color, uh, nationality, religion, uh, or gender identity, or sexual orientation. A homosexual, uh, homosexual, uh, yeah, it's like yeah. As far as I can tell, it's like a top paper. How much can that be undone, though? Unfortunately, sometimes when like uh, someone, uh, some top behaviors become like firm beliefs, that sort of thing too, and that's like uh, someone cannot like unlearn something. Like some people can unfortunately cannot unlearn bigotry. Like if people grew up in the Red Scare propaganda, people will die. Will die. It will take it to the grave that. Communism equals USSR, or communism equals China. No other nuance than beyond that, or that, or every time socialism ever tried, it's utterly failed. Saying that like is inherent in socialism for it to fail. I say capitalism inherently fails all the time, but just get propped up over and over, over and over again by the state. So like for me uh, trying to like for me wanting to like at least be more people to at least be like anti-capitalist as well too or rather uh, more people per I'll personally rather people to be more anarchist than anything else but if like if people still think oh no capitalism is a good thing just me the tweak I want to change people's minds but that's but sometimes if like people firmly believe that capitalism is a good thing then I don't know how to change that person's mind. So I have to like give up and just like move on. Still, well, probably will still know like share my points of view and like counter their arguments as well too. But yeah, at some point, I just have to like, give up and try and change some people's minds and just like try and work on other people that whose minds I can change. Um, like if I cannot convince like um baby boomers or like Generation X that like socialism is a good thing, I have to like try to like go to the next generation or my current generation. Probably because of the system failing to like teach me properly, or possibly because I'm like raised Catholic or both. Who knows? But there are things that I believe eh, that I know would equate to bigotry. Interesting. Oh yeah, I was raised Catholic too, so it's just like. Thankfully, I didn't. Thankfully, I I did not have any like mistrust of like say Protestants because I was raised Catholic, so well too. Oh, and I'm not sure, and I don't know if I met any like uh, people that were raised Protestant that like heard of things that, that like Catholics do. So I never like based in like any bigotry for being Catholic, honestly. And then again, also like I never my my mother just 
um, my mother, who wanted us to be raised Catholic and was born Catholic, uh, and still is Catholic, honestly, um, did not believe in all the beliefs that the Catholic Church did. So for Ash Wednesday, we never got the ash put on our forehead. We did fasting for Lent, and uh, that's about it. So I guess I so I guess well it's only one day. Like being anti trans for a time and thanks to things like god awful depictions of such in like a uh, uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica X. And as always, ever since my opinions on of that game is fuck that villain and fuck that game. Yeah. Oh my god, that's such a the uh, also because of the depiction of trans from Futurama. That's right, yeah. Oh god. I do have the Futurama skins uh in Fortnite though. Um, and, and I, you know, it's like, I, I'm still, I was a fan of future on when it's on air of what I've seen and want to kind of like, they watch it and finish it as well too. And yeah, people, that's one of the like canceled series. It went on for 10 seasons and had a, like a, a season finale as well too. How much of the, like a show is canceled if it goes on for 10 seasons? Honestly, I'm in personally, I'm interested in rewatching it though. I, but like, as you mentioned about the transphobia and like, or the terrible depictions of trans people in future. Uh, I was also a fan of future. Uh, I love the show back in the day. Yeah. There you go. Um, but I would have the problem with that. I, Kofaranka, I want to be Kofaranka. We actually have the Dreamcast version of Kofaranka, the original one. But the, I did not have the issue with the depiction of like trans people in that game at the time because that was common. Bender was, as far as I can tell, for many years one of the funniest characters I've ever seen. I like Bender as a character. There was that episode where he was a woman as well too. Which is, I, it, yeah, and I now know it's like also a, a, a comedy movie I still enjoy quite a bit because, like, um, most of it is like fine as well, too. The 40 year old version, there, there were some like now my opinion is sure is like he has like funny lines and such. I absolutely hate him for like shit like that, yeah, exactly. Uh, but the 40 year old version, I do not laugh at the trans jokes now because they, they yeah they kind of like kind of hired like a full service as sex worker for like the main character Steve Carell's character so they can finally get laid and not be a virgin anymore but like they were all saying that like she has man hands whatever that is and so yeah never seen the 40 year version and it's like that's the uh, maybe if, if I watch it again, there'll be like more things that doesn't does, doesn't age well. In that, I kind of still like that movie in a lot of ways. It's if that movie is a pretty good like because you were expecting that like uh, the main character uh, Steve Carell to be the butt of all the jokes, but instead uh, he's not. So they accepted. Uh, never mentioned how Seinfeld made the same fucking joke of a cis woman that has man hands. Yeah, they did actually. It was, it was the 90s, and, like, transphobia was quite common in the 90s. Age of Ventura, Pep Detected. I think that, I, I'm not sure if I would, like, enjoy that movie still, watching it now, but, again, trans women are villainized as well, too. Trans, yeah. I, I would like the, like the main, uh, like the villain in, like, uh, Resident Evil Go Veronica. I And, like, I still want to beat that game. Or I want to just replay all the Resident Evil games. Or most of the Resident Evil games. I don't think I will play Resident Evil Survivor. And there was, like, the railgun shooters of Resident Evil that were not that good. But there's been a lot of, like, good Resident Evil games that they made. And so, like, but, yeah, now now I have the issue with, like, uh, Transformers yeah, as well, too, and that sort of thing. And there was also an anime that I quite like, but it kind of implies... I mean, maybe it's uh, possible to enjoy some parts of that movie, but I'm sure, like, a good chunk of it would be real hard to sit through. Yeah, it, well, it's through Pets Protection for sure. There's a lot of parts that would be hard to sit through, honestly. All right, I'm sitting back down, transition back over. What I'm chewing on is, like, a cough drop. Probably like a hard cough drop, but like it was like soft enough that at this point uh, I can chew it. Um, well, that reminds me to say now, if someone like made a joke or like said something like years ago and something like that, that they wouldn't like make that joke now, I will acknowledge that. Like, like James Gunn, for example, he did like a total prop neck joke, uh, like over 10 years ago, probably wasn't prop neck at the time, but uh, like he was. 
like fired from Disney for a short period, all because like people dug up that uh, joke and and like campaign like Disney or pressure Disney to fire James Gunn for that. Oh, because like James Gunn is kind of like a liberal or progressive and something like that, basically not a fascist. Is oh uh, yeah, Mike Turner bitch that uh, Nazi basically. I um, did that sort of thing too, and it's just like it's it's. Terrible that sort of thing happened, but that's the point. Is well, clearly, like in the past, like people have made problematic jokes, but they don't make those jokes now. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of shit that I've learned over the years that um, has made me like ripple over things I have said and such in the past. And, and there are times when we were kids and teenagers as well, too, that didn't know any better, and yet, like, uh, we regret now. So, that's the thing, too, that if um, someone like uh, has done things but has like regretted what they did before or something like that, that is like, uh, I will acknowledge that. That sort of thing, too. Um, okay, but anyway, let's continue back to reading this document, though. We got a lot of follow and a lot of different, like, tangents as well, too. Uh, but let's continue on. Uh, access, ac accessible to public spaces are essential to ensuring the equal opportunity for people for disabled people. Democrats have invested in accessible infrastructure, including rail stations, accessible and actions to make airports and airplanes more accessible. And Democrats, like, pass like, and President Biden signed the bipartisan infrastructure law. Yeah, I remember that. Um, the thing they had to, like, make carve-outs that, like, uh, like, the fossil fuel industry was not, like, banned or something like that, or increased, like, drilling and fracking in order to, like, for like Joe Manchin to be able to sign off on it because like the false fuel lobby like uh, is like lobby uh, with like a uh, Joe Manchin or like uh, give campaign finances to Joe Manchin a lot as well too. So Joe Manchin worked for the false fuel lobby to like add protection for the false fuel lobby as well too. But continue on, which expanded affordable like housing. Uh, uh, which expanded access to affordable broadband, a, a, a especially important step for disabled people. I mean, there's some truth to that as well, too. It's because, like, when Quinn and Naz live out in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by farms, surrounded by cows, essentially. Um, and that's not a joke or a stereotype or something like that. That's true. And they have good broadband internet now so that they can actually, like, both of them can, like, stream that, like, the same night if they're able to, if they want to as well, too. Oh, so, and, no, having affordable access to broadband internet is, like, just, like, net good and net positive, in my opinion, that, like, everyone should have access to, like, a fast uh, broadband uh, internet, even in the middle of the woods. So, yeah. Um, uh, like being pro uh, life for, for a while, and I have a conversation with my friend where she showed me, convinced me that pro choice was like a better option. And being drawn in by one son yelling, They murdered the babies wasn't good because it's a hell of a whole lot of lies. If I'm right, oh my god, so many people believe those lies. I did have a co worker that believed that like Planned Parenthood was going into like people's bellies and like killing the fetus right there inside the belly or some. And the thing as well too. No, I did have a co-worker that did believe that Fran Porter was like a murder, a baby murder factory as well too. She had also. Think, speaking of disabled people as well too. I uh, somehow brought that up too. May, may maybe mention my friends. She's like, you know, if, like if there's disabled people, they probably still can like do some like primary things and like functional things. We can find the work that they can do and put them to work. I think she literally said, "Put them to work," and I strongly resisted that like thing. And uh, I forgot the kind of question she asked me, but I said I reject the premise of the question. It was just like put. It, it was like it was along the lines of putting disabled people to work, and I just I hate that framing, honestly. Anyway, continue on. Uh, Trump has a long uh, record of discrimination against people uh, against disabled people, including publicly mocking them. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Like a uh, uh, clip. Um, continue on. His uh, his businesses have faced a series of lawsuits over failing to comply with the ADA. I mean, if there is like enforcement mechanisms for the ADAs, yes, uh, as well too. So yeah, lawsuit the hell of him. Yeah, there was even like a people that are pro-life that believe uh, people are getting abortions and where they give birth and then kill it. Like, that's not what abortion is. Exactly. 
Continue on. Uh, discrimination complaints for federal, uh, from federal workers, uh, from disabled federal workers employed at the cabinet level agencies increased 20% while he was president. Uh, in his first year in office, the number of people, uh, disabled people fired by the federal government increased 24%. Uh, with like the disabled workers fired almost like two times the rate of workers without disabilities. Uh, Trump reportedly proposed like uh, billions in cuts in like social uh, security disabled income insurance and SSDI as it's called and called for restrictions on eligibility and benefits like cutbacks. Popping in then from work, how are you and how was social economy? Social economy was good today. We had a lot of fun today. Uh, continue on. He he called he, he and hello New York. Um. Continue on. He called to cut funding for like special uh, educational grants and limited federal funding for like a special Olympics. And, and also, what's I remember when this happened? No, it was so strange of like uh, Trump just like making a lot of cuts to like Social Security for like Medicaid, Medicare, and all these other agencies. Is that like it's not like like it's not like that was a large. I'm completely missing. That's okay, Lucidio. It was a fun time today. Hey, but like. It was not like these agencies or these benefit programs or all these other things that federal funding, like going through these things, was a huge sink, like a five percent or ten percent of like the national budget was going through these things as well too. Because look at the military contract; the military contract probably increased, uh, probably increased on the budget too. Oh, so it wasn't like those things slash. No, it was a very. It was like he was shaving off zero point one percent by making cuts to like some of these programs. It was not, it is, he was like slimming down because cruelty was a point. He just wanted to cut funding to these programs. Not that like they were a drag or anything like that or it need to be fiscally responsible. No, he just wanted to cut these things. Uh, it, it would close it down or like uh, uh, get rid of them if he could. Anyway, continue on. He has promised to close the Department of Education, threatening to enforce like a. Uh, in direct enforcement uh, idea protections for like uh, disabled students and his restriction uh, and he rescinded guidance protection uh, protecting disabled students including guidance aiming at ensuring disabled students were not unfairly uh, discriminated yeah again crew with least a point and, and, and I'm saying yeah it, it, I'm not disputing that like Democrats would be better on disabled issues over like uh, Trump as well too or on the, over the fascists as well too but that's because like it's a low bar I'm saying the Democrats can do a lot better. Continue on. Democrats will enforce uh, law sanctuary equal protection for disabled peoples. Uh, the ADA, um, uh, the EEA, uh, the Fair Housing Act, the Civil Rights and uh, Civil Rights and Institution, uh, Institutionalized uh, Persons Act, uh, selection, Section 504 uh, of the Rehabilitation Act, the uh, Medical Health uh, Partnership Act, and the Health Americans Vote Act. Uh, yeah, I knew that the like, Hey, hey, Deb Pretzel, how are you doing? Deb Pretzel, I'm in the politics portion. I'm reading the Democratic like, uh, Party like uh, platform as well, too. I'm slogging through this document. It's slog, too. There's nine chapters. I'm in chapter six as well, too. I'm like, there's like 92 pages. I'm now on page 59. But how are you doing, Deb Pretzel? Uh... uh and I knew I figured that, and figured that's why like the uh, the the state disability section was finally in chapter six because it's about the ensuring democracy as well too. Oh, so that's why they talked about the saving people in the Help Americans Vote Act. Well, too. How many chapters have you read so far? I'm in chapter six, so I read five chapters. I can on. We oppose efforts to even like uh, weaken the ADA and build on the ACA to prevent uh, health care discrimination. Democrats will enforce. Oh, oh, okay, so like it, it will increase enforcement or like ensure enforcement at the ADA, but the ADA, the Americans with Disability Act, does not have an enforcement mechanism whatsoever. So there's needs to be, and that's why like uh, Contact Court said that like AOC on uh, San Jose Cortez is ableist because like she thinks like uh, the ADA as it is right now is fine because. It, but but yet, and that's like ignoring the problem that the ADA has no like enforcement mechanisms whatsoever. Uh, continue on. Um, Democrats will enforce the Osman uh, integration and mandate and enforce non discrimination protection in healthcare, employment, education, housing, voting. Um, we will promote equitable treatment of like disabled students. Uh, so every child 
uh, every disabled child can thrive and to support people and support disabled people and their families we support uh, home and community-based care and end the subminimum wage how about yeah just like raise the minimum wage and like give rid of the give rid of the exemption of like tip and wage workers and get rid of these like uh, people be able to pay like people disabled people like less than minimum wage well too and make the minimum wage twenty dollars it were it's not that like, we don't need it's too late for like the fifteen dollar minimum wage make it twenty dollars now it should be twenty four dollars i don't see if you ask me or twenty five Outro video time! Yes, this time I'm actually making an outro video instead of just having text on here. So, if you like the video, press the button to give it a like. It helps out the video as well, too. And if you dislike the video, that button is there, too, as well. Oh, doesn't matter. Helps the algorithm and helps the video out of the way. Uh, you can also leave a comment if you disagree with something that I said, or you just want to say, hey, I like this video, or something like that. That will help out the video as well, too. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, as well, too. Um, this, yep, getting those up, numbers up always helps as well, too. And uh, also, don't forget to share around the video to, like, all your friends, uh, all your enemies on the social medias and be like, hey, check this out or listen to this or will you check out this person that's uh, rambling about so many different things. Yeah, that will help the video as well too. And also over on the sides of my face right now or covering face as well too should be like the buttons for like over you know, over here for like to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also social justice out me if you haven't checked out that like uh, uh a channel it's a weekly uh live stream show the youtube live stream show that I, I i'm sitting around with a bunch of my friends a bunch of other anarchists and leftists and socialists to talk about like current events news uh politics feminism anarchism socialism communism and various other things even cats even like pop culture as well too and over on like the of here should be uh some videos as well too for like that i recommend you check out as well or it's over here i don't know it around my face there's should be those buttons that you can click on as well too all right thank you for watching